Pisces, oh my goodness, you guys are going to do something a little different today. I'm actually going to start off with a message from your angels, okay? Um, but if you're new to the channel, please stick around. I have some free personal readings coming your way. Free goodies for y'all. Happy birthday. I mean, they're year-round, but I'm going to just say happy birthday because it's your birthday, right? Um, yeah, you guys are going to get two free personal readings, so please stick around. Everybody's going to get them. So, yeah, and if you guys want to book a reading, that's leosunpiscesmoon.business.site, okay? Um, that information is in the about section as well as, you know, below in the description, okay? Anyways, I'm going to start off with one of these, actually. And this is from Spiritual uh, Life Coach 43. I absolutely adore her. I think she's a Pisces moon. I'm not sure. I think she's a Leo sun Pisces moon like me. I'm not even sure, but um, I love this deck. Oh my gosh, you guys. I don't know if she has any more available, but you guys, if you like the messages here, go give her a little, go give her some love, you guys. Show her some love. Subscribe to her channel. It's Spiritual Life Coach 43. All right, let me just make sure I got that right. Yeah. Spiritual, okay, yeah, it says it on the back. All right, Spiritual Life Coach 43. I am going to start off with these today because I just never use them, man. They're just sitting there, and they're underrated, you guys. So let's pull one and see what we got. Oh, my God. Okay, so what does it say? Build a good relationship with God. Ch okay, I don't know why that made me want to cry a little bit. Um, change your mindset. Be positive. Don't just believe in God. Have faith and know God. Trust in him all the time. Okay, I like this. I love these cards. Oh, my gosh. All right, yes, you guys. Um, I get to, you know, Pisces. I'm not a religious person by any means, but I, I know that Jesus was a Pisces. I mean, according to... Um, the Bible, everything pretty much, you know, I think it was, was it Pisces, the age of Pisces? Was it the age of Pisces, the coming of God? I'm not even sure, the coming of Jesus Christ. I'm not sure, you guys. Like, again, I said I'm not religious in any way, but um, yeah, like, I'm getting, there's a, there's a need to be closer to him for some of you, or maybe not him, but source, divine light, okay? Just getting connected to yourself, mainly because you are God. You are literally God, okay? God is everything, right? So, I don't know. For some of you, that could be a message that you needed to hear. I don't know. Let's jump into your reading. I wanted to start off with that just because the energy is just very, oh my God, just dragging me, you guys. Don't know if you're feeling like that right now, Pisces, but it's going to be okay, all right? Let's jump in. Let's jump in. Feeling like a fish out of water right now. <laughs> oh my God. I'm just overwhelmed with a lot of things. Let's see. What? We have the strength card. Oh my God. Was I lying about the energy or what? Oh my gosh. No, the strength card is all about. Well, it's self-explanatory, really, but this is talking about something like an obstacle sort of coming in. That something's going to require a great deal of strength, obviously. Um, you could be dealing with a Leo for some of you. Why did I just saw Leo bust through the door like, I'm home, or this person, you have anxiety around them? <laughs> like, what is this shit? Somebody's like, yeah, that Leo's been pissing me off. Like, okay, maybe that's going to require some strength. I don't know. Yeah, this person's going to be honest about something, you guys. The Seven of Swords is indication of deception, right, when it's in the upright. But it's definitely telling me, like, coming out in the reverse. It's somebody is eager to tell you all about it. Whatever it is, whatever the it is, they are, they are, I think it's really eating away at them. I think the strength card has to do with them, maybe. Look at this. Oh, my God. <clears throat> How they're seeing you is like, oh, my God. Somebody going to spill their guts. That's all I see. Someone spilling their guts. You're dealing with a Leo, man. You guys are dealing with a Leo for sure. This is how they feel about you. This person's being really petty. 
Holy shit. Okay, Pisces, you could have this this in your chart or this could be a message for you. Like, this is how someone feels about you, Pisces. You're being super petty, okay? Um, also, like, this is someone who sleeps around, okay? For those of you that's resonating for, hopefully it's not. I hope that doesn't resonate for somebody. Yeah, um, they're going to be coming in hot. Coming in hot. I'm coming in, coming in, coming in hot. I don't know why I say that song. All right, Pisces. All right, when the Wheel of Fortune pops out in the reverse, it... I feel like abundance, Jupiter is like sort of retaliate. I don't know what to say. It's not retaliating. It's like resistance. Maybe for some of you, like I'm getting this person. There's something about revoking. I'm seeing revoking something about revoking something. Oh, wow. I just saw someone's license being revoked. They're losing their license. They're like, like their business license or something really serious, you guys. Something, a secret is coming out. This could really be detrimental to somebody's business is what I'm hearing with the, with the uh, Wheel of Fortune and the Eight of Wands. You guys, this could have to do with someone's workplace. I don't know why I'm saying that. This person might have to relocate. We have the, oh my gosh, you have two queens in your reading and they're both in the reverse, Pisces. It's a mean girl energy, you guys. <sighs> they want you to let your guard down, Pisces. I feel like this person's going to stab you in the back. Fuck that. There's this person who's, okay, for some of you, this person wants to come in and cause problems. Others of you, there's someone who genuinely, and I know this is really fucked up because you guys are like, well, how do I know which one it is? Because you're getting two different energies here, like the five of wands in reverse and then the seven of swords in reverse. And then we have the moon in the reverse. It's like secrets are coming out. People are starting to tell the truth about how they truly feel about others. A lot of low vibrational energy. People are just not sitting in their energy like they're supposed to. Like they're really upset. Um, girlfriends are sleeping with their fucking friends, boyfriends and shit. What is this? This is not for all of you. This is like for one person, but I am seeing a twin flame could be involved. Um, some of you, there's a twin who sees you as um, this enigma. They want you to let your guard down. Others of you, there's two mean girls around. There's like three people involved here. I'm getting like one of them is your twin, okay? Then you have two females who genuinely want to take something that's yours genuinely just want to take something that's yours or they could be telling you the truth about something like or you're going to find something out i don't see someone telling you the truth but the queen of swords can be very cutting right with her words she is air energy she's also in the reverse here um in the upright this is someone who is just like not having it okay this is the energy coming towards you this could be the energy you're embodying at this time you don't want to deal with fucking low vibrational people but this energy is putting you in a low vibrational state, okay? I mean, you guys have got to get out of this because I feel like you are it's making you sort of resent someone. And this has like been long, this is like a long standing issue between you and this individual that's not ever been talked about. I feel like there's something that's going to surface here with the moon. When I see the moon, it gives me a lot of water. It makes me very emotional. Like there's something about the tides. They're just somebody here. You're dealing with a fire sign for sure, you guys. A quick, or some of you are dealing with an air sign who just, they're really aloof when it comes to their emotions. And something is really, something they've been keeping bottled up is really surfacing right now and it's killing them. Like, I'm getting they're drowning in it. This person was in competition with you. For some of you, this is another friend. This is a friend. Others of you, this is a person who you were romantically invested in who's going to come out and tell you something about their behavior. Okay? I, I don't... I I do get sleeping around with this, this Queen of Wands in reverse, but it could typically... You guys, some of you are dealing with a Leo or a Libra. Uh, um... A Leo, Libra, a, a, a fire sign, I'm hearing specifically. Others of you, it's a fixed sign. Okay, they're showing me a fixed sign. Scorpio is here with the Wheel of Fortune. Leo, again, Leo is in the center. Leo is, is trining. Holy shit, Leo is trining. Someone here has Leo in their chart. They have Leo trined in their chart. They have it at a 120 degree angle. They have it in their sun. 
and they have Pisces in their moon or water in their moon, okay? Um, this person has some things they want to tell you, Pisces, okay? Uh, they they want to be honest with you. Others of you, there's somebody here you just cannot trust, okay? You just can't trust them until you can trust them. But um, with the Eight of Wands in the obstacle position, this is like somebody who wants to come towards you with this offer, this Prince of Pentacles, um, Princess of Pentacles, like somebody who, this could be about school, this could be you going back to school, but I feel like there's, this is in the obstacle position, this is what's going to require a great deal of strength, this is about working with someone for some of you, others of you, this is about school, going back to school, focusing on that, okay, because this is getting your attention, like I'm getting there's a need to move away from this, I am hearing focus on God, ask God, I don't know why I'm here. Yeah, they're saying ask God. Um, with the Ten of Wands mirroring the strength card, ask God, you guys. Ask God. I'm getting Aslan. Oh my God. There's a reader that says that all the time, and I forget her name, but um, Aslan. You guys ever seen um Narnia? Like, there's a lot of Leo energy here. I'm hearing God. You know, like they 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 um they uh, associate that the lion with the God, right? There's a lot of that energy here. I'm not saying that person's a god. I'm not by any means, okay? So don't feel triggered or anything. But um, <laughs> fuck that motherfucker. Somebody's like, fuck that motherfucker. You know God? <laughs> no, but the lion is the... They associate... We associate him with God. Lions are very wise. They're, they're majestic. They're... They can be forgiving, okay? And also, um, they only kill to eat, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they don't kill because for sport or anything like that. They kill to eat. They're loyal as fuck. And for some of you, this is like they're telling you to turn to God about the situation. They're asking you to tell your ancestors, your guides. They're telling you to turn to God and ask them about the situation because God is, sees everything, right? He, he knows or she, source. Source knows everything. I don't want to say he, she. Right, because God is non-binary. Non-binary. God is a freaking energy. It's literally a life force. Um, also, the sun, right, is our life force, and it's ruled. Leo is ruled by the sun. So, for some of you, could be dealing with Leo, but others of you, this is just more so about the energy that is coming into your life. I get a lot of harmony. I get a lot of a, a lot of abundance, but some things are gonna hurt first. Okay, I don't know for some of you that, like I was telling you about the Jupiter and Pisces transit. Like this is like something that is expansive in all areas of our life right this this is going to trigger for some of us it's going to trigger us but it's also going to be bittersweet it's going to be beautiful so i feel like for some of you you you're very overwhelmed right now some things are coming out i think it's about people that you know too like you're finding out like oh that's not really your friend that bitch has been competing with you this whole time or um, they genuinely don't want the best for you. Or maybe somebody around you has been betraying you. I'm getting stealing money, okay? Oh my God, they're showing me someone who's actually like going through your wa your wallet, your purse or something. Like you're finding out somebody is also taking something that belongs to you and giving it to someone else is what I heard. Or you found out about this. Some of you, this is a lot, of, a lot of this is past energy. This already happened. So because these are on the left side, all these energies are on the left side. So this could have already happened. This is definitely talking about someone too, like who was in competition with you, but they couldn't compete with you, Pisces. And they're finding this out, okay? They're finding out the hard way. Um, because you're a twin. For some of you are twin flame, you're chosen. And you just, I'm sorry, but you just can't compete with twin flames. You really cannot. Because they are meant to do something bigger. Not everybody has a twin flame. They're chosen for something bigger fucking huge like massive like this is like it's global it's like on a global level like twin flames are meant to change the way we see the world okay they, they change everything technology um oh my gosh i was gonna say oh my gosh why did i just see the first time um there was the first algorithm ever created was created by a woman i think this woman was a twin flame i'm not even sure but i um like, you know, like we know, we can tell, we can see each other. Like twins can also recognize other twins, even if that's not your twin flame. Like you can recognize them. I'm getting like you have someone around you who recognizes that you're a twin. 
but they're not a twin, which is weird because I feel like this person was put on your path to destroy something that you're going to be building here. They were wanting you to let your guard down, Pisces. I feel you're so intuitive. You kind of knew. You kind of knew, all right? You knew what this person was up to. Um, they were they're being exposed, like quite literally being exposed. I mean, anything that you were wondering about, you're questioning, um, that was just basically a question. Now is now is the answer is what I'm hearing. Yes. This is someone who could have tried to sleep with your person and your person turned them down with the seven of wands in reverse. Like, I don't know why I'm picturing someone who tried to fuck your man and your man told you about it. Like, that's not your friend. Holy shit. Like, that's kind of dope. I like that. I like that shit because you know what? She had your man all wrong, girl. Like, she had your man all wrong, babe. Um, this is not for everybody, but I'm just getting an image of someone who's sitting on a bed um, or they're fantasizing about this. They didn't sit on the bed, literally, but I am seeing them fantasize about this like because they wanted to get you back for something, Pisces. Like this is one of your friends that you may have put in their place, but not like did it in a mean way and they took it the wrong way. For some of you, this person tried to sleep with your person and your person was just like, I'm not interested in you. Like there was nothing about them that was appealing to your person at all. And in fact, they may have even been repulsed by this person. Yes. And you're just finding out about it and you're laughing. I'm getting for some of you are laughing about it. You know, with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse too, I'm also getting like some sort of karmic debt has been paid now. All right. This is very burdensome on you. Maybe you were worried about it and you kept questioning, am I crazy? Am I crazy? No, you're not crazy. Okay. I know people like to also if you're like somebody who is accusing you or somebody that you may have accused of something, you feel like you accuse them and they try to make you seem crazy. Trust me, they're only they're only using that to it's like a it's like a it's a defense mechanism. They're very um, defensive about it. Right. So that's like a number one way to tell when someone's guilty is when they get either when they're defensive about it or when they get really fucking loud out of nowhere, they just start screaming at you. This person was guilty, okay? For some of you, this is a friend who was like, you just asked them about something and they were like, why would you say that? Like, somebody just starts, <laughs> it's so obvious. Like, oh my God, Pisces, and you're like, you're not even mad at this point. You're just, inter you're being entertained. I'm getting like, you're entertained. Some of you are laughing about it because you're like, you already know the truth, okay? You're like, holy shit, this is hilarious. I mean, I don't mean to laugh at this person, but I think it's funny. Like, the truth always comes out, right? Time will tell. Yeah, they just said that. They, the ancestors, they're like, time will tell. Time will always tell. So, for some of you, like, you've been wondering this for a while, maybe even over a year. Oh, my God, to be sitting on something like this, I don't know how, oh, my God, how hard that was for you because, like, I'm not someone who can keep a secret, okay? I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna tell all your business. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I don't. I'm I'm good at keeping secrets, but um, like if somebody hurts me, I'm not really good at not retaliating. I have like, there's no excuse, but I'll tell you this, man. When a Leo is hurt, for some of you, this is a Leo you're dealing with. Um, they have a sly a sly way about getting what they want or just exposing people so because you know that that's the sun the sun sheds light on everything right um maybe you have this in your chart maybe you're a leo i don't fucking know or you could be dealing with a leo who's being exposed for some of you um because this is showing me someone who has like in the reverse is someone who goes around sleeps with other people's man gets to even with them by fucking sleeping with their man like i don't even see that there needs to be like like, there doesn't need to be someone getting even. Like, this person just has it in their mind that you're their enemy. And for some of you, you're like, man, I don't know what the fuck I did to this girl, but she's obsessed with me. Like, she won't leave me alone. She's jealous, okay? Because you get the eight of wands. The eight of wands is all about being jealous of other people's success. Like, this is your success. You have the wheel of fortune. Somebody who could even be trying to sabotage this success. Um... You know, the seven of swords, is, it's very deceptive. Somebody who's like, you know, if you look at her, <clears throat> she's, 
she's kind of whispering like, come here. <laughs> Look at all the swords. Holy shit. Like this is not the first time this person has done this. Like they could sleep with everybody's fucking man. I don't know. Like this, some of you dealing with a damn Scorpio. I mean, I don't mean to say it like that. A damn Scorpio. No, I'm just kidding. You guys, you know what I mean? Um, a fixed sign, an Aquarius, a Leo, a Taurus. This is, this is, but this is not the sign. It's not about the signs, you guys, okay? There's no such thing as a bad sign. Because we can, we all have our, our, our light and our dark and in our low vibration, we could do some really fucking mean, horrible things. Trust me. Like, we all have the power to destroy. We all do, okay? This individual they, it's like they don't even care, though. This is someone who just goes around and just hurts people. They don't give a fuck how they... They don't care if they hurt you. They don't care if it, it ruins your fucking life. They don't care if the extension... If it the extends... If it, the, if it goes beyond you. If it hurts your kids. Like, this is someone who doesn't even care how it affects your family or somebody around you. Like, this is, this is time and time again. Like, and look at them coming. They're like, this is someone who you genuinely trust. Fucking Pisces, this is someone who you trust with your whole heart, man. And this could be a friend. I don't want to say lover because, you know, I don't want people being like, oh, my God, beating their boyfriends in that night. <laughs> beating him up while he's sleeping like, I hate you. <laughs> I don't need you. Oh, Leo, son, Pisces, moon said you were cheating on me. I don't need y'all doing that shit. Okay, because these, these readings are for entertainment purposes. Um, you're supposed to laugh, okay? You're not supposed to be like, oh my God, my whole life is falling apart. Don't take it seriously, okay? But this is the energy though. Like this is the person that, this is the person who could have betrayed you. Um, I am getting something that they've done is now being done to them because this is in the reverse. It's also about them wanting to come clean about something that they did. Some of you, this person is becoming sort of noble after being caught up. Yeah, only when they get caught now that they, now that people get caught, you know what I mean? When people get caught, they start acting different, right? They want to be trusted again. They, they, and it's only when they're hurt, when they get caught and when they're hurt, right? Only when your life is falling apart. Oh no. That's the only time it matters. That's the only time you behave. It's crazy. People who wait till like the consequences, they wait for the consequences that, of their actions to start changing, to start actually changing or making a change or putting that in motion. I don't know, like for some of you, this person could have done a lot of fucked up things in the past to a lot of people, not just you. And I'm even getting stealing, you guys, like really, like this is a thief. I'm hearing this person's a thief, you know, like with the way the seven of swords, like she's holding this sword behind her, like, she steals a lot, like, I'm getting that, I don't know, like, someone who steals, this person could be on drugs, you know, they're not very self-aware, but I feel like something, they're gonna come out, they're gonna come clean, they're gonna be honest, I think that this is gonna be the kind of honesty you can respect, like, I think that some of you are gonna respect their honesty, you're gonna respect the way they they came forward, okay? It's gonna require a, a great deal of strength. It's gonna make you wanna cut a bitch though, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I mean, I don't see any gumdrops here. I don't see any rainbows, baby, but there is, you. there's something here about you being a twin flame and a lot of you are chosen. You are chosen to go through these, these catastrophic events or um, situations that make you, it just kinda like helps you grow and be better, so. Yeah, um, I want to get one message, oracle message before we go. You guys, I'm not going to make this too long of a reading, okay? <clears throat> Whoever this is, they're going to come clean. I feel like they're going to spill their guts. I don't want to see someone who's very emotional with the moon. This could be a twin flame for some of you who was extremely jealous of you. Wow, did you see that? Did you guys see that card? It flew across the room. Oh, healing the heart. Yeah, you know, um, that's Leo energy. The number five, 23, breaking down the number five, which is fifth house. So something around the heart chakra, um, expanding the heart chakra, opening the heart chakra, just sort of, you know, um, I'm getting an activation, right? Someone is activating their heart chakra. And I feel like this is because of some sort of pain you've gone through or betrayals. You guys, this is your heart chakra being opened. 
Like this, this betrayal is opening up your heart. I feel like this is positive. All right. Um, we have to go through these things. We have to go through betrayals. We have to find out who's a, who's really our friend, who's not our friend, who's our who's loyal to us, who's honest, who's trustworthy. We have to even find this about ourselves too. We even have to find out who we are. You know, look at our shadow and sort of embrace it and finally heal that area. Okay, it can keep you really stagnant too. Like this energy with the ten of wands is very stagnant. It can keep you really sad and in a very pessimistic state even. Um, and not even willing to bend. Like for some of you, like you don't want to trust anyone now. Some of you could be having a hard time trusting people because of this betrayal or um, finding out something that really hurts. This really fucking hurts, you guys. Me looking at it, it fucking hurts. With the strength card, like this is crazy. I feel too, for a lot of you, the only reason this happened is because of your success. Like, because of the way that Aida Wands is in the obstacle position with the Princess of Pentacles. Like, either you guys graduated, you got your doctorate, or you guys, like, got your law degree, finally. Somebody here got something that was really beautiful, something to be proud of. Like, you're, I'm getting a lot of prestigious energy and I feel someone around you just feels left behind or they could be feeling like stuck with the Ten of Wands, like jealous, stuck, envious, anything, all the low vibrational energies that make someone want to betray you, okay? I'm serious, your boyfriend or your friends told you about this person and you didn't believe them at first because Pisces, you always see the good in people and you found out later. Either your boyfriend told you or your friend, your mom, your sister, your uncle, your aunt, your brother, your whatever. Somebody was like, yo, that person is a fucking snake. And you're like, oh, that, oh, that's just Jenny. Jenny is such a sweetheart. Oh, yeah? You really think so? That bitch is evil as fuck. You know, when you turned your back, she looked at you so evil. When you turned her your back or you cut your birthday cake, she looked at you so fucking evil. She's so jealous of you, man. You could tell. It's so obvious. She's evil. Like, that bitch is scary evil. Like, oh, my God. Anyways. Things that make you go, hmm. Things that make you go, hmm. Okay, I don't know why this song just popped in my head. Things that make you go, hmm, hmm, hmm. All right. You guys, the healing the healing of the heart. Um, They're showing me that it's important for you, okay? You do have the heart chakra, you guys. You guys, get you guys some crystals, man. Seriously, get you some chakra crystals. Um, I want to say, too, take a lot of baths. Like, you, for you specifically, Pisces, water is your element. Take baths, baby, especially my water moons. You resonate with the moon. You resonate with the ocean, the water. Um, the water holds memory. Uh you can even create your own subliminals and make like, uh, I don't know, like shake a bottle up of water. Okay, record it and say affirmations to heal your heart, you guys, or whatever else you want to do. Like if you want to attract abundance, you can and then listen to it. It's your own voice talking to you. So you say it into the phone and you repeat it. I just made one for myself the other day. And oh my God, it's so cheesy. But yeah, like. You, the water, like seriously, get a bottle of water. I got some Fiji water, okay? I know, going into specifics, okay? <laughs> I got some Fiji water, and I just started shaking the bottle. I know that looks wrong. <laughs> and I just recorded it, uh, me saying the things that I want to attract into my life. And I genuinely do listen to it. I listen to it now at night when I go to bed, and I put it on repeat. Seriously, I feel so much better, and I genuinely believe that I am attracting these things into my life. This abundance, love, harmony. I am attracting it into my life. When you attract this into your life, everything else follows, right? Harmony, it brings a lot of abundance with ease, okay? Um, I am sad for whoever this is resonating for, but you know what? It's temporary. This is temporary. You're finding out something about someone. You're finding out they're jealous. You're finding out that they, they want to sleep with your man. You're finding out that they're trying to ruin your life. Pisces, it's okay. All right, get take. You know what? Take a number for real. Take a number. I don't know why I said that. Take a number. It's like I've been there and I'm still there because I haven't forgiven these people. But you know what? 
How could you forgive someone who keeps doing the same shit? How could you forgive this? I'm serious. Like people say always, you know, they always tell you forgive for yourself. Do it for you. Don't do it for them. But it's hard because they keep doing it. This motherfucker keeps doing it. Like what is, what is your problem? I'll tell you what the problem is. Their problem is the, with themselves. It's not with you, Pisces. All right. I love you guys. There's a lot of gossip here about this individual. The moon in reverse. Yeah, like there's a lot of gossip. Some things coming out. Others of you, this is like your twin flame um, showing you something through your dreams. I'm hearing. Yeah. They're coming to you in your dreams. They're showing me with the moon and the four wands mirroring. There's someone entering your dream space. They're showing it to you. This is, so, this is for someone specific. I am hearing this is someone who died. So whoever you are, your, your twin is showing you from the other side, babe, who these people are. All right? I'm about to start crying. Wow. Why did I get so emotional? Um, yeah, you're like um, in your late 50s. Yeah, this person, your twin died. 60s. They're showing me 50s, 60s. Um, they, they're, they're not, they're not dead, baby. They're like, I mean, I don't want to say it like that, but you, like, I'm not trying to like trigger you guys because what I actually get is their energy is not gone. Okay. Like when I say they're not dead, I mean like they're there with you and they're, they see it. They see what you don't see. I know. Right. It's crazy. Um, anyways, I love you guys. Um, take advantage of your free personal readings down below. They're the first two links. You have several others down there as well. And you guys, check out your 2022 forecast. I don't know why nobody's checking that out. It's it's down below. It's for you. It's 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 it correlates to you specifically. It's very detailed. So check it out. All right. You guys haven't been checking out that 2022 forecast. You need to go do that because it's all about you. I love you so much. You guys have a wonderful weekend. <laughs> Bye, guys. Or have a wonderful week. Love you.